Hello, this is a tutorial that will demonstrate how to register a Digi Gateway with the iDigi service. This involves two parts. The first part is going to involve going into the, the gateway and configuring it to talk to iDigi. And then the second part is going to be taking going into iDigi and then registering the, the gateway there. And then once uh, we've demonstrated those two things, uh, the device will appear and that will conclude the demonstration. So the first part, uh, as I said, is we're going to go into the, the Digi Gateway. In this case, it's Connect Port X2. And what I've done is open up a web browser here, and I've put in the IP address of the Gateway. And that will put me on the home page of it. So from this home page, I'm going to go down into the Remote Management section. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to check the Enable Remote Management Configuration using a client initiated connection and then I'm going to enter the the, the name of the, the server for iDigi in this case it happened to be the default which is sd1-na.idigi.com um, your servers may be different um, but typically this is the default one so once I've entered that I'm going to scroll down click apply so now we have the uh, the iDigi or the, um, the gateway is configured now we go into iDigi to set up, uh, to, to configure it there. So, actually, I'll go back here. What I've done here is I've gone to the, the the Digi website, and I go and I click on the iDigi Solutions tab, and that takes us to the iDigi page. And then from there, I go over to the iDigi platform login, and that's to log into iDigi. So I click that, and that takes me to the the login page for iDigi. Um, if you're doing this for the first time, you'll need to register an account, so you click on the Are You a New User? That takes you to the registration page. You'll enter the appropriate information and uh, finish the registration process. Once you've done that, it will put you back at the login screen. So now that you have your, your login information, you will log in. And here I've I've logged in and I want to take a look at our devices here. And it appears our device is actually already registered. So just what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get rid of it here just for the sake of demonstration. Um, so I go in and uh, uh, the device is not registered. We're now going to register it. So I go into the, um, the plus little icon right here and I'm going to add a device. And it's going to automatically go across to your network and try to discover the device so we'll give it some time here so it's done and uh, we're gonna look for that X2 here and here it is so you've clicked your device and then um, oh, I gotta scroll down click OK and then as you can see the device has been uh, successfully added